Where's the first place you go when researching a new project? Need to find directions to a friend's house? Or just when that new movie opens and what the reviews are? Your first instinct might be to check it on the internet. But wait, how do you know the information you're getting is correct? Or that the website is legitimate without a hidden agenda? Many times, you don't. Sure, the web is a great source of some high quality information and high quantity information, but there are also plenty of web pages full of half-truths and outright lies with agendas, not the facts you may be looking for. The greatest strength of the web can also be its biggest weakness. Anyone can post almost anything on an internet site. There are no editors or fact checkers to prevent misinformation from making its way online. There are many counterfeit websites that pose as either the popular legitimate sites or as authorities on their subjects. These types of sites are set on spreading misinformation, information that may have a ring of truth to it, but leaves out key information to the topic in an attempt to twist the truth. Instructional or political sites can be among the most damaging. They seem to be a legitimate and unbiased take on a topic, and may even pose as a popular site for those who do not know the exact URL. But these sites are often a front for political purposes, personal agendas, and sometimes even hate groups. One common way that misinformation is spread is through the use of search engines. Search engines look for keywords, and when these sites register with the search engine, they make sure that those keywords are associated with their sites. Often, someone reads that wrong information and, thinking it's true, puts it on their own site. Now it's a popular misconception and it will just keep growing. Groups or people set on spreading misinformation know how these search engines work and use this to their advantage. To help protect yourself from being misdirected, keep these tips in mind to help you decide whether a search engine link is valid. First, if a URL is just a little bit different in the name than the one you typed, or there's a .org when you expected a .com, be on the alert. Second, a tilde followed by a name is a personal site, and so will be one person's opinion only. Third, if the site uses comic or indecent language and lacks any references to legitimate authorities, it's probably biased. Fourth, Always check the underlying pages, or top-level pages, and any suspicious links to give you a feel for the entire site's purpose. Fifth, use proven sources outside of the internet, like magazines or encyclopedias, to cross-reference the information. Sixth, visit websites that post hoaxes. Seventh, check domain names with an agency like register.com if you're skeptical. Eighth, investigate the author of the site or page. Ninth, use link followed by a URL in Google to see who links to the site. Determining the credibility of websites is kind of a skill, and practicing the skill helps develop it and makes you more wary of sites you're visiting. The bottom line is that almost anything can be on the internet. It could be good information or bad information. Learn to be skeptical and use the steps we talked about to make sure you're getting the correct information. You can stop here, or if you'd like to practice your skills, walk through a couple of the websites with me. The following are some sites that you should investigate to determine which ones are valid and which ones are misinforming or misdirecting. Take a few minutes and investigate each. I'll put up the URLs and tell you when to pause the video. Okay, here are two to compare. WTO.org and GATT.org. Pause it now. I hope you figured out that GATT.org is not what it appears to be. The copyright was a good clue. How about this, um, science site? Do you know all the facts about dihydrogen monoxide? Go to DHMO.org. Pause here. Do you know all the facts now? Didn't think so. Do you like cats? How about men with beards? Try this one, real or bogus? www.improv.com slash archives slash classical slash cat slash cat dot html. Pause here. What does a cat see when it looks at a guy with a beard? Okay, one more. mcwardle.com slash index dot htm. Pause here. 
did you invest? You should have to make millions, or maybe not. I hope you had fun investigating these sites and developing your critical analysis skills on the web.